Hi, my name is Martin Petty, and I work as a solutions architect for storage in the digital systems team with IBM. And today I'm going to introduce you to data resiliency on our flash system arrays with Chile IT. Data resiliency builds on common planning against the kind of outages that you might experience with your hardware going down, your application failing, your data being corrupted, as well as natural kinds of disasters such as earthquake, fire, flooding. But the risk profile has changed and we now have to worry about things like cyber attack and data theft. And this growth in cyber crime means that there's a new name, a new company each week that we hear about that has been impacted by these kind of attacks. It can come through many different tools and techniques, but by and large, they follow the same process. They get into your environment, they see who has what where, who has access to that information, and through that, they have the ability to steal data, to do damage to your existing environment, and maybe even do damage to your ability to recover against the attack itself. And as this happens, it becomes public, and a company faces not just a situation where they've lost access to their data, they have an active ransom demand against their environment, but it's going to happen in the full public clear. And this is a risk that is unacceptable in many, many different ways. Now we've dealt with risk before, again, doing that traditional business continuity and disaster recovery planning. We now have to think about a new aspect of risk. Cyber resilience is that area and if we combine all three of these, we can build a data resilience capability. So we have our traditional high availability snapshot and replication mechanisms, as well as our backups. But now we need to look at it from a cyber resilience point of view. We want to bring in granularity, isolation, and immutability. This gives us a tool set. Some will be very familiar to us. Encryption may already be in some of your, your technologies. Snapshots is a way that we have used to protect, recover, and backup data before. Air gapping, the original tape was the original air gap. But now we have cloud aspects or maybe logical air gaps that we can leverage. Orchestration and automation is about the ability to plan and recover from attacks or outages and monitoring. We can't just wait for something when it goes wrong in situations like this. We need to be aware of when the behaviors change, when the symptoms first start to appear so we can minimize that window, that consequence. And if we look at this tool set and apply it to that same anatomy of an attack, we can see that we can start to minimize what these people are doing. We can ensure that they can't get the credentials from our accounts, or we can ensure that if they do have to get credentials, they can only get access to one or we can use log analysis to try and find suspicious behavior the way people might lock on or use environments or even where the access environment. We can protect our backups better, we can recover quicker, we can minimize the risk to our environment. Now within our flash system array, we're well used to giving clients this tool set. We have the encryption built into our arrays. We have very advanced clustering and replication technologies as well. But now we have brought a new capability to prevent cyber attack. We have immutable copies with a logical error gap within our flash system arrays. And what's more, we can even bring it to older generations, our third party storage arrays by our Spectrum Virtualized technology. Now we're going to do this through something called safeguarded copy. And that's going to provide an immutable point in time copy production data. That means it can't be rewritten. It means it can't be deleted. It is isolated in a logical air gap that's offline by design. So this is not a mountable volume. This is not something that the normal storage of men can get access to. And that's key because separation of duties means that the if the bad actor gets the admin account for your storage array, he might be able to delete your production array, but he won't be able to delete your immutable copy. Okay? And that means we now have options that allow us to do a faster restore 
which means it can be hours, not days or weeks. That separation of duty is paired with our automation capability through the Copy Services Manager. We can work off a policy, we can give you a schedule that might be minutes, hours, or days, and a period of time for retention. And the person who can restore this data or make it accessible is a separate account from your normal storage admin. It allows us to scale across multiple systems, and we can also bring in new capabilities quarter on quarter. So very recently, we announced that not only can we deliver this against our on-premises storage, but our Spectrum Virtualize for public cloud on Microsoft Azure also supports safeguarded copies and that immutable logical air gap. Now, we talked about how behavior is an important aspect of understanding when you're under attack. And we can pair with technologies like our IBM Security Product Curator which looks at threat detection, both people trying to get in and behavior within their environment. And we look at your server logs, your application logs, your storage logs, and depending on the activity that it sees, you can get automated triggers and alerting against potential threats and take a most recent safeguarded copy to ensure that your response can be timely and minimize the exposure to threat. Now, if we pair all of those capabilities together, we can look at a situation where we are trying to minimize that detection phase, that response phase, and that recover phase. Very often in a cyber attack scenario, them taking your ability to respond impacts your recoverability, and very often means that you can't use your primary plan. You have to go to a secondary or a tertiary mechanism, which extends that recovery period. By reducing that period of time that things are detected, how quickly you can turn around your response and improve the recoverability using a mechanism like Safeguarded Copy and Copy Services Manager, IBM calls the Cyber Vault. And it's not just about minimizing your upfront, it's about changing how you do your day-to-day -day operations. We're very familiar with having a production environment and sometimes having a secondary, a DevOps, a testing environment that you can spin up and run various workloads or reporting tools or analytics against to. Well, something similar you can do with your Cyber Vault. You can spin up those environments and you can check that they're okay, that they are a known good copy of your data, or if it's a bad day that you're having, something that you can restore back to production in that shorter time window. And we are going to wrap those policies and procedures to give you a couple of options on how you can leverage your cyber vault. Perhaps it's pure data validation. You know every couple of days that you have a good copy of data with no infection or contamination from a bad actor. Or perhaps you have a suspicion that something's going on or you've seen some symptoms and you can investigate that problem and see what's the best tool to get you out of that scenario. Maybe your recovery will be surgical. You just need to get that most important piece of information out of your environment, or maybe it's going to be a full recovery from that point in time copy. Finally, it might give you a better capability with your plan B. Your offline backup can be of a known good, clean copy. Now, these capabilities could be something that you can get very expensive, but we offer it from our 5200 on, and the Flash S2500 offers incredible value. From just under 30,000 pounds, you can have access to safeguarded copy and also get great performance and data density within one new form factor. You can view these bundles and other solution bundles like them from the IBM web store. And if you want to learn more about data resiliency, you can work with Chile IT who have a rich and capable proof of concept facility where you can look at safeguarded copy, you can see it paired with some of our security portfolio, Spectrum Insights, and even leveraging some of our public cloud capabilities on Azure, AWS, and IBM Cloud. You can register for this demo with the details below and get to spend time with the experts in Chile IT. So IBM and Chile, thank you for your time today. Hopefully this is of use. And again, feel free to reach out to Chile 
about ways you can learn more about this exciting new capability.